of it. So, I don't know what these are going to do. This plate seems a bit odd. But three meters. And because we've got a uh, block, a normal block on the inside, like them, and then we've got 73 mil bricks on the outside, hence the staggering slightly, if you see. Just slightly staggered off so that we can work the brick and the block together. Okay, Here we are bolts to the ground. These are the plates that go at the top. Fit on here, I think, like this or like that. I'm not sure exactly. But then that goes up the rafter. The plate up the rafter there. Okay, there we go. Wind posts. Good morning, and here we are back on the job. And the wind posts have eventually come. Six weeks. I've tried different firms. I tried Acon. They just messed me about. They just didn't answer my emails. They sent me information, and they wouldn't correspond. So I went to Key Stone, and they were brilliant. They're in uh, Swathing Coat in Derby, not far from here where I'm working in Mansfield. So I uh, went through Hugh Gray's. Uh, you have to go through a builder's yard. So they were brilliant. They answered all my questions. Or they rang me, we rang back. Um, loads of correspondence because you've got to get these dead right. And uh, these are measured. Somebody said, oh, it's just like angle iron. But they are precision made and they are stainless steel. So let me just show you. Wind posts are in, resined into the ground, anchored with Chemfix or some kind of fixing salutes, fixing stuff. So uh, we've resined them in with a uh, chemical fix. So you might uh, have seen this stuff or something similar. And so they are resined in and to get them level I've had to use that off the fence next doors just like a, just like putting a profile up uh, there are your slots because we've got 75 mil bricks on the outside and uh, uh, metric on the inside that's why there's a difference here as we go up and so down here we're the same and if you can see there let me show you, show you Mark. I think you can see that I've used the same principle and then the other fixing there that fixes through to the wall plate because we've got a parapet wall that goes into the parapet and then we've got this coming down here again bolted and resined in I've had to chop out to bring it down because that's what the issue was we've got a garage base here and then we go up into uh, the um, main house so there you go that's a wind post if you want any more information on it because you've got to send you this this has been slapped on the job to be honest Let's go at the top and these are the fixings go into these um, sliders these are the fixings for the top for these they go at the top and these are the shorter ones for the brickwork the block work sorry these are for the brickwork because it's a six inch cavity okay so I'll, I'll come back to you when i'm doing that all right wind posts are in okay that's our wall plate height this is the back side and we're putting in our insulation now which is salatex i think it's that 400 4000 gauge cw 4000 special uh can't just use any kind of uh pir it's got to be this uh, seemingly it's get good against damp and uh, we've got a cavity tray in so if anybody says yeah no cavity tray in. yes we have it's there okay and so we're putting in now our um, silver foil tape which stops any moisture coming through coming through that as well so there we are and we're up to this is the reason why that goes higher there is because we've got a parapet wall going on top because we can't bring any guttering over onto this neighbour's side okay so there we go the old Salatex
that's it at the end of the day bricked in nicely I think there's a good match there we go tie better than tying them in uh, wall plate plate that's bolted on there as you can see bolted in and then uh, I put it I put a a, a heavy block on the top, a seven newton block, because we're going to be bolting to that as well. We'll put Kenfix into it, bars through, and then wall plate on. And then uh, this is a store shed, so it doesn't need any insulation, but I will put insulation in, but we've got to put special insulation in, as I've said, the Celatex, the CW4000. There you go. Right, we've got our wooden post in now, and we've got the uh, wall plate now bolted to the plates and uh, resined in all the way down. 12 bolts at 45 centres and bolted to the other wind post at the other end. So now that wall's solid, solid through. So I'll build this up in a minute because we've got a catnip coming across here and a return ready for a. Um, parapet wall that goes above and a valley created here and the downpipe here okay there we go okay. And this right as you can see I'm just pointing out here this is the wall plate going to the main house taking the top part of the roof Right, here we are, we're getting up to the top of the parapet and uh, we've got um, the ties going in as you can see onto the brickwork and then we've got this one coming through onto the onto the onto each side to tie it to this wind post. Uh, one issue that has been a problem that's caused me a headache is that this whole building runs down. So it, uh, no, it runs down this way and it runs up that way so we've got it coming up in pig quite a bit in pig so it's it's it's, it's been a challenge for me to get this side right at our levels in but uh, we're getting there with that now but it's going to be difficult putting in the lead as we run the lead in down there i've got to now change this soil stack i've got to bring this uh sink drain into the soil stack we're going to renew that soil stack and lift this up a little bit so we can get our tiles under. It's a 13 degree pitch, so we have to have uh, some special tiles which are coming on Friday and we'll have that done. We're just creating a valley here now where the, um, where the uh, parapet is going to go up. The same as down the other end down here. This part's the garage of the shed, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to put insulation, which I'm doing. doesn't need it, but I'm going to put it in. And so here, this is where your tie comes through and you've got an adjuster there for it look and the same we'll put one on in here the same there through and uh, as you can see uh, this is being formed and then one more brick on here and then it's the then it's the coping stone that goes on the top okay right in this here we've got to put a cavity tray where the lead laps up into the brickwork and the cabbage tray goes up and in and on top of the lead with weepers in so um yeah i've to leave little bits in the middle just to support the rest of the house but there's tie wires in that'll hold them all up so that's the next job is put some cavity trays in uh, this is our insulation in here this is our wall wall post wind post and uh, as you can see we've got the ties in ties in across here there you go and the same down there this is a garage part so it doesn't need so much insulation in, but i am putting it in anyway uh, these civic bricks clayburn civics 
oh the slightest moisture on the on the brick or in the air really smudges the brick but I've uh, managed to get it okay uh, you've got to keep them dead dry but that's where we are we've got a valley in here we're forming that's got to have lead on tucked into the brick here and then we build over it and there's a parapet on the top so that's where we're at at the moment as I say these are the civics and it's hard to keep them clean but uh, you've got to keep them dead dry otherwise you get a bit of bleeding on them Right, adapter's on now, and the inlet for the toilet to go on, and I can seal that with a seal now, and then we're just going to put the pipe in and up there, and then we'll come back to you in a minute. Stacks in, uh, got a brick in now, put my cavity tray in, cavity tray in, uh, ground out for the lead down the bottom there, and uh, get this lot built in now, we've got our... our, our That is, uh, I used to call them witches at, but um, it's a sealer, and then that's tucked into there, and then the lead comes over it. So it's all conjunctioning with the damp, with this uh, cavity tray. The lead's underneath that, just under it. This comes out on top of the lead with weepers in every meter. That's how we've done. Okay. Hey, good morning. Cavity tray is going in here. So the lead goes underneath the cavity tray and then we put these weepers in and again it's folded let me just show you there we are that goes into there and the lead should come up here and into here okay so there we go and that just pokes out there there we go make sure that's uh, tight up the tight joints so we're getting them in slowly and a nice cavity tray and then uh, next sweeper is here let's see if we can find that for us so the lead again comes under here okay Okay, we're on the parapet wall now. This is a cavity tray put in, as you can see, the length of it, and the water comes out onto the front here through these weepers, which I am putting in, as you can see, right here. And so we'll carry on. And now we're putting the lead in, as you can see. Nicely in, into the parapet. Right, just putting on the coping stones. So we've got a good hangover with the grooving. Same on this side. And uh, we've got, um, as you can see, we have a, um, a cavity closer on here. And get it down this other end, down here, and show you. Cavity closes. So there we go. And we've got uh, a lead in.
Okay, I've put these on the wrong way seemingly. So I spoke to the building inspector and they've allowed it. Uh, as you can see, the drip comes on this side. So, uh, but, the, but it's okay, they've allowed it. So don't worry about that. In future, we'll put them the other way so it drips into the uh, valley. They're in, all done, they're back in, finito.